For several weeks, Maryland state transportation officials say portions of Baltimore's metro subway system will be shut down longer than first projected as crews make emergency repairs. WJC is live at the Mondawmin station. George Solis reports on the shutdown and the nightmare for riders. George. Good evening, Vic. All of this unfolding during routine inspection of the rail system. Now, state transportation officials say repair work was already slated for the summer, but upon a closer look, they decided it couldn't wait any longer. Chopper 13 over portions of the above ground sections of the Metro subway system that will now be closed for several weeks for repair work. Maryland Department of Transportation officials in charge of the system saying the elevated areas from Owings Mill Station to West Cold Spring Station needed to be shut down to keep riders safe. This after crews found parts of the rail system needed to be replaced sooner rather than later. Safety is absolutely number one for us and number one for our passengers and we don't take any risks with our passengers. The entire subway system will be shut down through the weekend giving crews time to inspect the entire rail system. A major inconvenience for the thousands who frequent the subway on a daily basis. It's, it's, it's bad. It's not good at all. By Sunday, transportation officials expect to be able to announce which stations not already slated to be closed for weeks could reopen. Unfortunately, it's also when they could announce which will remain closed for repairs. MTA officials have increased bus service to areas that serve the metro system, but it's of little consolation to some riders. It's very upsetting and it's going to cost me more money financially. Transit union officials telling WJZ this is a problem that should have been addressed long ago. I'm glad that it's happening without there being any fa fatalities because there could have been fatalities with the trains rolling down the tracks uh, the way that they were. Those dependent on the system hopeful repairs are done soon. Having public transportation is a necessity in a big city like Baltimore. Now, the elevated section of the rail system was already slated for repair work this summer that could have taken up to 10 weeks. MTA officials say this work should take less time than that. Live in Baltimore tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. Subway riders are encouraged to visit the state's website to see what other transportation options are available to them. You can find that link on our website, WJZ.com.